So reciprocity is about <clears throat> taking out some of the distortion in the pelvis. And <clears throat> that distortion isn't just in the bones of the pelvis. It transmits all the way up through the trunk into the neck and head. It's a whole side of the body thing that's in a twist. So that's why the reciprocity movement is called reciprocity. Namely, you've got two girdles, the pelvic and the shoulders, and they are reciprocally or oppositely related in movement. Walking, shoulder goes back, hip come forward. That's the saunter pattern. <clears throat> and what we do is position the legs such that the forces moving through move in from the side to the center line of you along a line that's close to 90 degrees meaning straight out from you because if you're off the 90 degree working position the forces go through you obliquely and that means it decreases the amount of sensation in the pelvis that the movement produces because it's spread out instead of aim straight in. You with me so far? <laughs> <laughs> I was with you on reciprocity, the shoulder girdle, the pelvis girdle, um, and that's mostly what I got. Okay, so I shall give you now a demonstration of the words. Okay. Okay, and what you do is you get into working position. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> really? Well, then do it. <laughs> you know what the working <laughs> position is. You've done it twice. You... I completely forget. Oh, lie on your side. Actually, uh, you know, you've got to decide which side to do first. Then yeah. There is an assessment that you do every time, which is not the assessment done in Unit 1. Unit 1, the assessment that when you're doing that is out of the pull of gravity along your length. It goes across wise, so there's no gravitational balancing reflex needed in the unit one version. Wait, but isn't it isn't it supposed to be on the deeper jam side? Why does that why is it different when you're in the chair? I'm about to explain it. Okay. I, I got halfway through. Okay. When you're doing the assessment in the unit two D, you're upright. And in so doing, all the postural reflexes that balance you in gravity come into play. And so the assessment is revealing any distortion in your postural reflexes that turn on when you have to balance against gravity. Makes sense. All right. See? All right. <laughs> so <clears throat> the action pattern is you bring your feet and uh, knees, to, ankles and knees together. How's it feel to be on television? And then you, then you push one knee forward. You're going to listen first. You push one knee forward and make a roundabout circle to the outside and back. That's the direction. The other knee does the same movement, but in the opposite direction because it's the opposite side. Are you with me so far? Uh, so this knee first and then the other knee second. And I'm actually realizing I really don't have good range of motion in this chair. Yeah, well, what you really need is just a flat level surface. The range of motion will be, I think, determined by your holding pattern. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's one. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's very nice. All right. And yeah, you, and you do the movement and observe visually because your sense of movement has gotten distorted by the twist and you're used to it. So when crooked feels straight, straight feels crooked. You get that? Yes. All right. So choose a knee and push it forward. Uh -huh. And then out to the outside. Just that one knee, if you can manage just one leg doing that. And then pull it back. And then in again. You're both. I'm just talking to one leg right now. 
So that's uh, you just did well, kind of a square move to the ends <laughs> together again. There, <laughs> push forward, out, back, in. That's the direction. The other leg, you push forward, out, back, in. So you see, it's the same movement, but the opposite direction. So I really, I, I always thought it was like you were trying to move the other leg with this leg, but you're trying to keep the other leg still. Yeah, that's right. You're doing one leg and you're evaluating its movement. Okay. So now push the right side forward. Notice how far forward you get. Yep. And then to the outside and back and in. Left leg forward. Notice how far you go. Out, back, in. You notice your left knee came way further forward than your right? Yeah. That suggests that, of course, that your, your grip is such that your right side is already too far forward, and pushing it forward more is just trying to force something that's already too far forward. Make sense? Yeah, and just, just to clarify, because I noticed that as well, mm. but um, does it matter when my left knee is coming a little bit forward that this one is coming a little bit backwards, just a little bit? It's supposed to. Okay. How can you bring one knee forward other than by turning your pelvis? If you turn your pelvis, the other knee comes back. Got it. But I'm not supposed to like try to bring this knee back. It just sort of comes because of the rotation of the pelvis. That's right. And even if you were trying to bring it back, it's still from the pelvis. Oh, and, I got it. And if you have to put extra effort into it, that's telltale right away. Yeah, this one, this one definitely comes. I can, even if I try to bring one knee forward and one knee backward, mm -hmm. I can do this one much better than this one. Yeah, exactly. So that points to the right side being jammed forward in this position. So my left is jammed forward without gravitational, but my right is jammed forward with gravitation. Right. That's awesome. Okay. It's weird, but you know, this is Earth. <laughs> so that being said, you now know which side is your so-called working side in the instructions. And you start now we get into working position lying on your side uh, as i like to put it like an egyptian you've seen those drawings those those egyptian hieroglyphic paintings are all sitting at 90 degrees upright am i wrong this one yeah kind of except that they're not using it that they're sitting in like a chair and they're all upright and 90 degree everything is upright and 90 degrees very egyptian okay let's see <clears throat> Position here. Should I be mean head towards you or head away from you? Mm, I think head. What do you want rather look at? Because you're it's for your use. Uh, 